How's it going everybody, Ben from Budget Pokemon here, and in this video I'm gonna be opening a random assortment of products. We have everything here. We have a tin here, we have some Crown Zenith, which is really nice. We also have some Shining Fates, and the main event is of course this Arceus V figure collection. I've opened a bunch of these, but I guess we'll start with the biggest box first to clear it off. To clear it off the table, I suppose. So yeah, I've opened a bunch of these. These recently have been picking up in price, they're not as affordable anymore. But I really wanted to open this mainly for that for that one um, Cosmic Eclipse pack. You know, this is a really, really cool box. Um, probably not my go-to anymore since, you know, it's not MSRP. My go-to product that I would recommend right about now, if I can get this up, there we go. Um, would probably be also, there is no code card here, maybe? Or maybe it's... Um, under the under the booster packs, that may be why. Let's see. So my go-to product that I would recommend right about now is oh there it is. Would be the Charizard Pre Ultra Premium Collection. Still, that is still a really good product. Okay, here we are. So there is the code card for that box, and you know I've opened so many of these, but this figure is still pretty cool. <laughs> I have so many of them now, and the promo also is. Super, super nice. I mean, look at this. This is so stunning. Really awesome promo. And of course, these four booster packs. We've got, of course, Cosmic Eclipse, which is the highlight of this one. We've got some Brilliant Stars. We also have some Chilling Rain. So let's see if we can get something in, in this box right here. So yeah, Charizard Ultra Premium Collection. Like, while that one is still available for MSRP, that is the product that I would recommend opening. If you really want to do open a product. So, let's see. Cherubi. So this video, I mean, originally I had planned for this week's video for it to be the, um, oh, yeah, nice. We got a Whimsicott. For it to be the, um, Rudolph the Black Flame opening. Also, that is an off-centered code card. I've never had an off-centered code card before. That's the first. Um, so yeah, it was originally planned to be a Ruler of the Black Flame opening, but, you know, with the prices for that set exploding, I mean, it has released now and the prices are dropping, but for me, it's still too expensive, and did I just, oh, I just opened the Cosmic Eclipse, I wanted to save that for last, okay. We'll open it anyways, didn't even pay attention, but this is nice. But yeah, with the prices, it was too too expensive for me. And, you know, Obsidian Flames releases two weeks later than that. Here's our reverse. Let's see if we can get something. Oh my god, we got the Zogaleo and Lunala! Holy moly, are you serious? What the f... Don't curse. Don't curse. What the frick? Are you serious? That's insane. What is my luck? Brother, okay. Imagine if I had saved that for last, but here you go, there's the code card. Oh, brother. This is an amazing pull. Dude, this was really, this was a really good idea to open, like, one more RCSV figure collection box. Also, I see on the recording that the, that the reflection or the card itself looks pretty dark in the recording. I'm currently using a new lens, or I'm using a lens filter. Um, I'll have to see after editing it how how it looks on video. I might just, you know, for future videos disregard that, but we'll see. Holy moly, we we can't stop now. We had a we had an awesome pull, so we can't stop now. We have to keep going. Also, this chilling rain pack really doesn't want to be opened. But here we go, we've did it anyways. We've got a Swirlix, we've got a mask, cast form, and another cast form two times in a row. We've got Justified Gloves, and we've got a Banette. Chilling Pain, as you also called it, Chilling Pain. I mean, honestly, I haven't opened that much, that much Chilling Rain, but the ones that I had opened were usually pretty good. I mean, I did pull the the Galarian Zapdos in, in those few packs. I think it was from like a three-pack blister from a, from a hundred euro uh, mystery box, which I still want to do, by the way. I still want to do another opening of like a a 100 euro mystery box. That was that was really really fun. Cuz you get so many different um different products that you can open. Beast on marker. And here is the code card. 
You get so many different products and it's it's so nice to to like switch it up, you know. Maybe we'll do that after the booster box opening. Um, let's open the tin next. I actually don't know which packs are in here. I mean, I'm guessing they're Scarlet and Violet themed. Where's my knife? Also, this is a new, like, tin design. Usually, it would only have, like, a plastic strip covering, like, this area. Um, this time around, it seems to be, like, all in, in shrink wrap. There we go. Okay, this time we've got it open. Let's see what we can find here. What does it say on the back? We have four booster packs in this one as well. Okay. We also, of course, have the promo. You can either get the, the Maridon promo, which is the one that I choose. Also, it looks kind of like a Pringle. Look at this. What, what is this? It looks like a Pringle. And we have this code card right here. Enjoy. Good luck to whoever gets that. And let's see what we, what we get in this one. Let me just get the, the tin off the table here. So we get Paldea Evolved, Paldea Evolved, Scarlet and Violet, and Silver Tempest. Okay, so we get one... One Sword and Shield pack. Nice. I've been meaning to open a bit more Paldea Evolved. So this is actually great. I actually bought a, um, a booster bundle the other day. Still don't know at this time. I don't know what, what's in that booster bundle. But if I do pull something nice, I guess I'll, I'll post it on social media. Probably on Twitter or as it's now called. It's not called Twitter anymore. It's now called X. Which is super stupid, but here we go. Wuxi and EX. That's good. And here is the code card. Isn't it Wuxi and... Wait, which one was it? No, it was Qian Pao that's been kind of making the rounds as like a... A new deck that's that's kind of kind of good. Let's save this Paldea Evil for, for last, I guess, and open a... Scarlet and Violet pack. Scarlet and Violet. I think I have everything from from Scarlet and Violet. Also, I've just noticed that the code card was white. Um, when I opened Scarlet and Violet, all the code cards were black. So, does this mean this has no pull or what's going on here? No, it does have a pull. Okay, great tusk. That's kind of strange. I could have sworn like every pack that I opened in my booster box opening was, was a black code card. Don't know what's going on there, but we'll take it. We got a pull, nice. Um, let's open the Silver Tempest. I have pulled the, the Lugia alternate art before. I also have, well, I bought the, the Reggie Drago, which is the one that I really liked. Um, what else is in Silver Tempest, honestly? Oh, I guess there's trainer gallery cards, like, um, whatchamacallit. I think Friends in Gala is in here, Serena. I'd be happy about Serena. Um, what else? Ga Friends in Gala, of course. That's like my favorite, my favorite full art trainer. Let's see if we have something. Well, no, that's just a Frost Lass. And that's Silver Tempest for you. Most of the time, you'll get nothing. But then again, that's also with, with Evolving Skies, but then I I did manage to pull the, the Moonbryon, which was absolutely insane. Man, I still can't believe I've pulled the Solgaleo. Jesus, okay. That's super nice. I mean, I have that card in Japanese, but this card has gotten really expensive as well. All the tag team cards have gotten pretty expensive, but this more so because it also features Lily and like all cards featuring Lily are kind of going through the roof at the moment, which is stupid. But, you know, what are you going to do? Let's see if we have something here. And nope, that's just a gar, a garnicle or something like that. Apologies for the mispronunciation there. But, oh well. I guess we're saving um, Shining Fates for last. And we'll open this one. I've opened this in a shorts video before, and I actually managed to pull the, um, the watchman Oh, there's my Intellion pin. There we go, there's the Intellion pin. So I've opened this in a shorts video before, and actually managed to pull the, um, the Raikou. The Raikou V, which was a really, really good pull. I mean, that's not all. I also pulled, like, um, a Radiant Charizard. I've pulled that so many times, but that's still very nice. Um, once again, maybe this time with a bit more time, since I had to hurry up in that video, the Intellion pin. I should really like this pin. Now I have two of those, I suppose. Um, here's the promo and the code card. Show off the code card first. There you go. And the Intellion promo. I really like the stance. Of, of this one. It's from Gosan. I don't have that many favorite cards from Gosan, but this is among them. This is a really good one. 
We like the fighting stance, and here we go. Crown Zenith. And in my opinion, still one of the best sword and shield sets. It's so much fun to open. Maybe even more so than V-Star Universe. But, I don't know, that might be debatable. I mean, V-Star Universe is a lot of fun to open, but... I mean, besides the the um, the three art rares and then your secret art rare and maybe an additional secret rare, that's all you can. Oh my God, a leafy on V Star! What the frick is going on? Holy moly, and a Charizard V Star. Okay, these freaking products are stacked. I'm pretty sure leafy on V Star is one of the best cards you can pull. I mean, besides the golden cards. Besides the golden cards, the Leafeon is like one of the better ones you can pull. Um, actually, let me show this off up close. We put the Charas out over here, you can show over here, buddy. And let's look at this Leafeon again. Man, I really like this, actually. I've been debating, you know, I've been building my, my binder for my alternate art pages in my binder. And let me get a sleeve for you. And I've kind of been thinking about since... At some point, I'm gonna have all the, the evolutions, but I'm still missing a card, like, in the middle, and I really don't know which card to put there. I've been, I've been debating, like, it has to be an Eevee, which would make the most sense, but I've also kind of thought about maybe putting, like, the, the Leafy on V-Star on one page, and then the Glacion V-Star on the, on the other page in the middle, but, mm, I don't know. Well, that, that was mainly because I just don't know which freaking, um, which freaking Eevee to buy. There's so many, but I don't know which one. I had my eyes originally on the, on the Eevee Munch promo, but that one is, you know, a bit too expensive for me, and, which I didn't even know, I only realized that upon closer inspection, like research, it's not holographic. It's just like a normal, a normal common. Mind you, it is a promo, and it is, well, much more rare than a common, but essentially, it's like it's non-holographic, so I kind that kind of pushed me off the card. And now I thought about maybe a um, an EV EX or no an EV GX. You know the one with the funny face from oh dear God, I don't even know. I think from the Japanese set it was from Tag Team All Stars. I don't even know. Oh no, I think it's a promo actually in English. That's why it's still kind of affordable. Okay, Shining Fates, the last product we open in this video. And I've also opened so many of, so much of Shining Fates, like you wouldn't believe, I've opened so much of this set. Um, I think the best card I ever pulled was the, the Suicune. The Suicune, uh, whatchamacallit, the Shiny Suicune. And that's it, never pulled the Charizard or anything. Just get these out, I kinda like this box actually, it's pretty cool. I've also, well, that just went out of my hand. Okay, here is the code card, of course. Enjoy. I've never opened um, this particular box, the Dedene pin collection. So here's another pin for my collection. I also have like an, an ET bear full of them. Here you go, very cute. And here is, of course, the Dedene promo. Also very, very nice. I like this Cosmic Color foil, which is apparently making a, com a comeback, which is nice. So, let's see. Shining Fates. Man, it's been a really long time since I've opened some Shining Fates. Let's see. I mean, I'd be happy with anything. Let's let's do the card trick for the for the Shining Fates packs. So, it should be four to the front. And here we have the Fighting Energy. I'd be happy with a Skyla. The Skyla has been picking up. I mean, every single female Fuller Trainer, I feel like, has been picking up. And I think part of the reason is that because the Japanese um, versions of those are just, like, unaffordable. They're way too expensive. So people are buying, like, the the English versions now. Celebi, that's nice. That's a nice illustration. Is that by... No, I thought for a second it was by Soso, -so, but then it is a different art style. Also, why is the Italian over here? Let's, let's put you there, buddy. What else is in here? I mean, of course, the, the Charizard. That's the one you want to pull. But then I guess for me personally, any full art trainer would be would be nice. You know that. Um, in terms of shiny Pokemon, um, the Cinderace I think is in here as well. So the Cinderace would be really nice. And what else? 
if I think the Decidueye is also in here, although I might be wrong, but that would be pretty cool. But let's see, let's see what we can get here. Let's see, Snom, oh my god, we've pulled the Snom. We've pulled, this is the best card in the universe, we've pulled the Snom. We've got the, the god of Pokemon, we've got Snom. Eevee, we've got a Morpeko, we've got a Floatzel, and we have a Zarud non-holographic. Man, Shining Fates, this is just as I remember it. Really, really rough. Really rough opening. Maybe we can get something in this last pack here. Come on. We have to get something, right? This can't just be a box with, like, no pull at all. Although that might be possible. Like, a, a box with, like, no pull at all. Not even a holographic so far, I'm pretty sure. Maybe, maybe this, this will redeem itself. We've got a Rotom, a Rusted Sword, another Floatzel. We've got a more Peko Stealing Berries from the Snubble. We've got a Nicket. We've got an Eevee swimming, maybe training to be a Vaporeon. Glossy Fleur. We've got a Tudle. We've got nice. Oh, I've forgotten about these amazing rest. Well, there you go. We're not going home empty handed. And we even have a Cromorant V. Okay, so the last pack made up for it. We have a double pull with the amazing Ragaveltal and the Cromorant V. Nice. Okay, kind of running out of space. Let me just overlay this right here. Well, I guess that does it for this opening. I've forgotten to put the, the promo, the Osseus promo here somewhere. Really important. Um, well, that was really successful. These are our two main pulls, I guess. This is actually insane, the Solgaleo. Like, pulling that is actually insane, man. This is super, super nice. And then, of course, the, the Leafy on V-Star. This is also one of the better pulls from, from Crown Zenith. Well, but anyways, that does it for this video. If you enjoyed this one, then a like would be very much appreciated. If you didn't, then by all means, give it a dislike. Tell me in the comments below what you didn't like, and I'd try to fix that for future videos. Other than that, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I will see you in the next one. Peace, peace, take care.